Hi everyone, so I'm dropping in to share my experience accessing my Akashic Records for the first time. So, um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to explain the Akashic Records, so I want to read a little description that is in this book. So, the Akashic Records, understanding your soul's history and how to read it. So, let's read what they kind of describe in the introduction. I'm just going to read the first two paragraphs. Um, <clears throat> Have you ever wondered if you've lived previous lives? Have you known how to perform tasks or spoken about information you have no previous experience with in this lifetime? Have you ever felt like you're here on earth for a specific purpose, but you don't know what it is? All of these questions can be answered through accessing the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are an energetic, vibrational record of everything that has ever happened in the past, present, and future. This includes actual events and words said during your human life, as well as thoughts, feelings, and intentions you've experienced. The records also include moments from every past lifetime your soul has experienced on earth and can even tell you about your future lives as well. Ah! Okay, so if you're with me on this, like, like, cheers, because this is very advanced. This these concepts are very advanced, um, but if you don't understand these concepts, I just ask you to follow along with me um, and have an open mind. So first, um, just to understand like the Akashic Records, you have to understand that we are infinite spiritual beings, that our souls never die. We are more than we are in just this one lifetime, and that we experience infinity. We are just the universe broken up into all these different souls wanting to experience every possible thing. Um, so your soul never dies. We never technically die. We reincarnate. We keep coming back for experience, 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 and learning and learning and learning and growth. So soul never dies. We are infinite spiritual beings. We keep reincarnating. Um, and you also have to understand, um, so these Akashic records are not like a physical place that you can go. Um, like it says, it's an energetic vibrational place. Um, so they're actually like in another dimension, which you can access through your consciousness and through meditation. Um, you can go there once you achieve a high enough vibrational state because um, it's like a very divine place to go. Um, but everyone has the right to access their records and use it to help them in their lifetimes. Um, and you also have to understand, because this is pretty mind-blowing, um, but actually very intuitive once you get into it, that the way we perceive time on planet Earth is not real. It's an illusion. Um, we have all these lifetimes, right, incarnating, um, but there, it's not actually in the past and then the present and in the future. They're all actually happening right now. So right now you're in this lifetime, you're also experience, experiencing all of your infinite lifetimes at the same time. So that's how um, you can access your past lives and your future lives. We just call them that as humans so that we can interpret it and understand it. But at the basis of it is like the reincarnation that our souls are infinite and we keep coming back for all these experiences. So anyway, um, time doesn't exist. And there is literally a place, these Akashic Records, that is recording every single thing you think, you say, you do, you act on in all of your lives. Um, I mean, no need to fear like judgment or anything. That's a very, judgment is like a very low vibrational thing, okay? No one in higher dimensions is judging you. Um, but you can access this information and actually use it to help you. Um, get information and clarity and resolve relationships um in this lifetime everyone has the right to access their records okay i've gone on a little bit of a spiel um so this video is mainly to talk about my first time accessing them myself which was a couple weeks ago um so um it's a pretty brief story i wasn't there very long but so I used a guided meditation to kind of relax me and get me to like feel like I was entering the Akashic Records and you usually visualize it as like a library. Again, that's just because as humans, when we think of like 
where are we going to get information? We think of like a library or, you know, like some kind of records hall. Um, that's just our interpretation. Anyway, so the first time I tried it, um, I was actually very scared and like it was nighttime and I was meditating and all the lights are out and I was like, holy crap, you know, like, I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I was a little bit afraid that like I would come out of my body, like into my astral body. Um, and I was just afraid of that. So I didn't get to them. Um, and I was only meditating for about 15 minutes, but I didn't access it the first time. I felt a lot of fear and anxiety about what was going to happen or what I might see. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this again in the daytime, just because something about like sunlight, I don't know, I felt safer doing something new like this. So um, the next day I found another guided meditation that was about 30 minutes and I just found one on YouTube. Um, and like this book guides you um, to set an intention. So before you're going to access the records, um, set an intention or a question, you know, what do you want to know? Because you can literally ask anything about this lifetime or your other lifetimes, um, which again, our other lifetimes are affecting us in this lifetime. So that's why it's important to understand and like relationships cross over from different lifetimes, etc. cetera. So, um, so the second time I did it and my intention was, I just said, show me this is real. I want, I want to see the records, um, no specific intention. Just show me it's real. Show me it's real. I want to believe it. Like, show me, show me <laughs> was basically it. So, um, so I got into meditation and sure enough, um, I got pulled into, um, and this is all in my third eye. So I was seeing it, um, kind of the way, like, if I told you right now to, like, close your eyes and, like, visualize you're walking down a beach or something, um, that's kind of the way that I see these things, but it's, like, very clear. Um, also, the more you practice it, the better you get. But anyway, so I was pulled into this hall of records, um, and again, everyone's will look a little bit different. It's kind of, like, the way we interpret it. And it looked like mine almost seemed to be outside almost like there were kind of these big like archways. Um, but there was like a lot of like sunlight, natural light coming through and like there were some plants. Um, and then so I just kind of like started walking through this um, like down this little like corridor with all these bookshelves on either side. And I just remember the feeling of the place, you know, like the way a place feels was like so calm and quiet and peaceful and like there were no sounds. It was just, I don't know, it was beautiful. It felt very calming and relaxing, which makes sense because it's a higher vibrational, higher dimension um, place I was accessing. So I started um, kind of like walking down it and I was like looking right and left um, to see all these, like, bookshelves, and then all of a sudden, I get, like, pulled, like, really quickly down, um, like, down the aisle, and just suddenly, like, I'm, like, flying through <laughs> all of these shelves, and I'm seeing all of these, and, like, I get the feeling that, like, these are my infinite lifetimes, like, just me, my soul, these are my infinite, 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 infinite lifetimes. Um, so I'm basically being shown, like, I wanted to see, like, is this real? And it's showing me, like, these are all your lifetimes. Um, and then all of a sudden, okay, and again, I'm, I'm just relaxed. I'm, I'm not intending for any of this. Like, it's being shown to me in my mind's eye. Um, I see, so I kind of shoot out of the thing. <laughs> And I see planet Earth. Um, and I just get this feeling of like deep love and compassion um, and familiarity with Earth. And I get this feeling of like you've been, you've had so many lifetimes here on planet Earth. And yeah, just this deep connection to this place. Um, so I'm like kind of hovering over Earth for a little bit. Then I get dropped down into Egypt. Um, I don't know what year it was, but it was ancient Egypt. 
And again, I need more practice with this to understand, but like first when I got dropped down, I saw myself as a man. Like first I popped into like a man's body and I was like a male pharaoh is what I was feeling. Um, I just kind of was in that body for a moment and kind of like looking around. Um, but then it was strange because then I popped into a woman's body. Um, and I think, I don't, I'm not sure which one I was, um, if I was the man or if I was the woman. But I get popped into the woman's body and um, I see myself like basically kneeling on the ground in tears, bawling, crying, begging, saying to this other person, not the Pharaoh, but saying to this other person, like, you killed my children, you killed my children, I'm just like a mess, I'm a wreck, I'm, you killed, you know, I was like screaming, like, you killed my children, and I got this sense that I had two children, um, and that's all I saw, that's all I saw, um, so I was only there in that lifetime for, you know, a matter of maybe 10 seconds to kind of see that scene. And I got pulled back into it, into the records. And then I came back into here. And I kind of sat up and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> um, you know, I was like, is that even real? Da da da. Um, but it's really fascinating because, um, so I have a friend and they are super intuitive. They've been accessing like the Akashic records for years and they're able to access other people's records for them, of course, with their permission. And I was relaying my experience to my friend and I said, I don't understand like why I was shown that lifetime. Um, and they said, it's, it was your ex. Like it has to do with your ex. Um, I was like, Oh, I'm like, I'm like, okay. Um, so it was like in another lifetime, my ex like killed my children. Um, yeah, so that's obviously very affirming in this lifetime um, that they were a very bad person and I needed to break up with them. So um, anyway, so that was about two weeks ago and I haven't accessed the record since because I was kind of like, I mean, it's a lot to take in um, and I mean... Obviously, you're going to go to your other lifetimes that are, are going to be painful, right? Like, we don't have only good things. We have bad things. So, I'm just kind of, like, letting that sink in and process, um, you know, and I finished reading this book to understand a little bit more about the records. Um, and, you know, a part of you wants to think, like, it's all in your imagination, um, but my intuition says it's not in my imagination, um, so anyway, yeah, exploring my Akashic Records is something I want to keep doing through meditation. I think like anything, the more you do it and practice it, you get better, you get, you know, you can probably drop in more quickly and um, you'll get more confident with it. Just like if you start meditating or doing yoga, whatever, any of these things is a skill and it takes practice. Um, so yeah, I... I'm going to start to think of like what other questions and intentions I have for the records. Um, I think actually exploring kind of clarity around my ex and like I kind of want to go back to that scene in Egypt um, and kind of see a little bit more what happened. But anyway, um, I hope that this video made you think of something in a new way. Um, Again, I just think it's wonderful if we can have open mind to things and explore, even if you don't 100% agree with these things, um, having an open mind, thinking, hey, maybe that is possible. You know, I really admire that in people when they have open minds and um, I'm being very vulnerable and sharing some of these personal stories and I'm doing that to show other people what is possible and to inspire you to try to do the same thing. Um, because I think any time that we can gather more information about ourselves or about the way reality is, um, it's very empowering. So, okay. Thank you if you made it all this way. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Bye. Love you all. Bye.